Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will talk about something called automation, which is called moving a knob automatically. So what is this? Automation track, you can see you can add it by pressing this add automation track button. You can add as many as you want. Stop it. Get some help. Now obviously Automation is going to make a song more interesting and you're going to have more control on how you want your song to sound like. Now, automation, we click and drag to make a clip that we can drag around. If we double click it, it opens a graph. This graph is basically the automation line where horizontal is time, vertical is the amount you want to turn the knob by. Now. To do this, I'm going to put a single note, four bars long, I'm going to change up the sound, and now we have a single sound right here. Now let's say you want to change the volume over time. What we're going to do is go to the volume knob, control, click, drag into there open it up now you can see this is set as the same value as this knob is on right now what we can do is go to the end of bar 4 we can put the volume up higher and at the start let's say make it start softer now this automation goes suddenly up we don't want that we want it to go slowly up we're going to go up here and click the slope thing now this makes it go gradually up instead of steps. You can also use this curvy thing, which it's just personal preference. Doesn't matter. This is the movement of the volume as it goes across the four bars. Now let's take a look at this volume knob here as I play the tone. You see how that makes it automate the volume over time? Now it's not just volume, right? You can do pan. Pan is basically left or right ear. If I want to do, for example, I'll select the slope first and then I'll go left, right, left, right. For the panning, the bottom is the left ear and the top is the right ear. So if we keep doing this, it gets kind of tiring and then you're like, I don't want to do this for five bars. So what do you do? Well, you can just close it up. You see how the automation is. If you do shift and drag, you can expand. And you see how it's only going for four, for, for two bars. So we, what we're going to do is cut up, trim it down to two bars. And we're going to copy and paste. To do that, we're going to control, drag across. Now you can see the pattern moves on across there. Now let's see how this sounds like. Cool. So we got a lot of modulation going around. We can add as many automation tracks as you want. Let's say this is automating a filter. We're going to go into a triple oscillator and turn on the filter on low pass. Control drag the frequency knob into there. We're going to automate this a bit, so we're going to put, maybe it starts on high frequency and then cuts back down to low. So it starts here and then comes back down. Remember to select the slope button. Now it's going to sound like this. You see how that can make something really exciting than just one tone. If we don't have all these automations, it just sounds like this. And then let's add the automations. See, it, it begins to sound more interesting and people won't get bored listening to one sound all the time. So what happens if we make some melody out of this? I 
Uh, so I just made a simple tune and with all with all these automations together it should sound kind of weird because that's a lot of different automations going on but let's have a listen so that sounds cool what happens if we take away all those automations It's not as interesting if we don't have any movement compared to having quite a lot of movement going on. Now obviously you don't have to go as extreme as doing this and all that, but you know, that's a bit exaggerated. You can do something that is as exaggerated as this or you can do subtle changes like just the volume changing over time or the volume being louder at a drop for example and you can you can change the volume move the volume knob over time and when you export it these automations will also be in the uh, mp3 or WAV file they'll move with it so you can hear it in the audio file at the end so I hope you learned something today make sure to hit the like button if you found this helpful and I'll answer any questions below in the comment section subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye